Hi, Missy, it's Mrs. Yu. I'm just gonna walk you through how I would download and then snip a document. So the first thing that I would do is go into the Google Drive and I would download the document. Then I would open it up. And the next thing I would do is make a snip. Maybe you know a faster way to do this, but this is the way I would do it. I would save the snip as, whatever you want to. Then the next thing that I would do is go in and open a blank document in Word. Then I would go insert pictures from device. And then I would go into desktop and I would search I would search what I called it. And of course, now I can't find it. Leaped stretched was what I called it. There it is. Okay. Then I insert it. Then the next thing that I do is you come up here to picture format. And if picture format doesn't show up, you have to double click on the picture. Then you go up to picture format and you're gonna go to wrap text and you're gonna say in front of text. That means you can move it however you would like to. Okay. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into insert up here, and then you're gonna find this little guy here. That means insert word art. Then I usually choose one like this, and then I go back to home, and I choose either Comic Sans or Century Gothic because both of those have the A that's not the storybook A. And then you can just type here, Nidea es un foto ves en tu cabeza. Tengo Nidea por una then you can simply highlight it and make it smaller and make it bold if you want to. You can stretch it out a little bit. Now in this case, I might make these red. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to layout and you can see here after layout, it has an eight point and I'm just gonna take them all down to zero to hopefully leave a little bit less space in between the words. So hopefully then they'll fit a little bit better. Okay, so again, if I want to come down here and translate unusual, I will go to insert, find this little A over here, and I have my text, and you can just move your text down here, you can go to home, change your font, Change the size of your font over here. OK, 
Okay. And then when you are all finished, I go down here and zoom out a little bit more so that I have plenty of space. And then I just come in again. And again, this is what I do. Maybe there's an easier way to do it, but this is the way I do it. I go in and make another snip of the worksheet. And then I usually save it as, and then I say page and then number three, five, six. And then I usually save it English, Spanish. And I save it on the desktop. And then after I save it on the desktop, we'll just pretend that was saved. Then I come back in here and I go to the week. So we're in May 18th. And I go to new, file upload, select your file that you would have ostensibly saved. And then you click open and it will upload to the drive. All right, I think that's it for you. Hopefully this helps.